scenes in your watching notes. Aperitif's Behind the Scenes series featuring Detroit's house music community. The producers, DJs, management, the least talked about logistics, media, photography, venues, patrons, promotions, and merchandise. Yes, Detroit has it all. Detroit's house music community is historically rich, momentous, vibrant, and diverse. Our set location host for this segment is Berlin Street, located at 17316 West Seven Mile Road, Detroit, Michigan, 48235. Thank you. I begin this segment in reflection of a DJ and producer, a trailblazer in Detroit's house music community. To quote DJ Earl Mixon McKinney, when you hear the last name Dyer, everybody knows that you're talking about the Dyer brothers. So we take a moment of silence in tribute to Terry Dyer, 1968, to 2011. I now welcome to the show his brother, DJ Daryl Dyer. Welcome. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? I'm good. How are Get you? Nice and comfortable. Yes, ma'am. As we take this ride. All right. How are you today? Good. I'm awesome. Yes, I'm good. Very, very I'm good. good. All right, Daryl. On many occasions, during roundtable conversations over the years your brother Terry's name always came up yep. and continues to come up. It does. Would you tell us more about him and his legacy as a DJ? Yeah, he, um, well, Terry was, uh, a lot of people would say he was the master of reading the crowd, reading the room. He could play a record and then the whole room would light up. Um, we all, we came up um, DJing together uh, before, you know, in the high school years, and he really took to it and really um, started mastering it uh, like only he could. And a lot of people, all the DJs out here today, um, either played with him before or know, you know, he was very known and loved. Very good. Thank you. Thank you. You're okay? Yeah, I'm good. All right, I'm good. Good. I'm good. Now, let's take it to the booth front and center, as we take this journey into your life as a DJ. Where were you born, grew up, and at what age did you discover the art of DJing and felt that first impulse to take up the art form? Well, I was born in Arizona, Fort Huachuca, Arizona. My father was in the service and that's where he was stationed at. Um, I was a little, when I was young, very young, we moved to Detroit. So I pretty much grew up here in Detroit. Um, first started DJing, well, like a lot of people I've heard before, my father was a DJ and he did cabarets. So me and Terry was his uh, like sidekicks. We used to come, we were very young, like maybe 10, 11 years old. And we used to help him, uh, you know, carry the stuff to the party. And, um, you know, we, we sat there and watched him. We, we took notes and watched him uh, rock the party back in the day the dj did more talking than than mixing and stuff he played good records but he did a lot of talking and on the mic and got the crowd hyped and all that so we watched him uh, took notes after a while we started setting up the equipment and we carried in we set it up then he could do the party and before too long uh when bathroom breaks we would fill in for him for bathroom breaks and before you know it he would bring us to the party have us set up and he'd leave and we'd play ourselves for no way. two or three hours. Yeah. And you yeah. were how old? Uh, we were like maybe 11. I was like, I might have been 12 and Terry was 10. Playing cabarets. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. 
And, yeah. did, and did you try to steal a little cocktail no, too? No, we, we, okay. we didn't get there yet. That, that's a little before that. Um, but yeah, so that that's really how we started. We, our father was a DJ and he loved music. And that's how we got started. All right. Very good. Now, I have here in my hand my notes. The famous notes. Famous <laughs> notes. I like that. Famous notes. The famous notes. And this has evolved from 20 questions to now 42, of which you have randomly selected six. Yep. Now, have you been given these questions? Not at all. So you have no idea, right? No idea. What I'm going to ask you. Nope. All right. You ready? Yes. Now let's get down. <laughs> question number six, which is your first question. What has been remarkable in your career thus far? Wow. Uh, I would have to say meeting a lot of DJs that I respected and loved over the years. Um, being a DJ and knowing a lot of the guys in Detroit, they have access to other DJs that I may not have access to, and I get to meet a lot of them that I may not have met any other way. So I've, I've met a lot of DJs, a lot of people that I've wanted to meet um, over the years. Would you like to name a few? Oh, yeah. Um, well, Louis Vega, um, and Josh Milan, um, uh, 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 Glenn Underground, Osalande. Uh, I mean, I can, I can go on and on and on. There's a lot of them. Okay. But, uh, but, but all of them I respect and I love them. Okay, thank you. Question number two, which is 17. What's your music choice in your downtime? Oh, wow. Uh, in my downtime, I, I'm all over the place. So I really like jazz. It would probably be my number one. But I like, like, I like jazz fusion and all kinds of different additives to it. Like it could be jazz house, acid jazz, you know, I, I like jazz. Jazz is, is, is a part of everything that I like. Okay. So it'd probably be jazz. All right. Question number three, which is number 19. What is your muse or inspiration? Love. Oh. Love is my inspiration. Um, all the best house music is about love. And when you hear it, it brings that into your heart if 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 it's good, and if you if you're true to it. Okay, now I'm gonna throw this question in here. You ready? I'm ready. Since you said it's all about love, okay, and I agree. You don't have to answer it, but I hope you do. <laughs> Are you in love? <laughs> Damn, you don't have to answer. <laughs> uh. I'm in, you love, on the spot. I'm in love with life. Oh, yes. I'm in love with life. I'm happy to be alive because a lot of us are not here. Yes. Um, that should be here. So, yeah, I'm in, love, I'm in love with life. All righty. I'm in love with life, too. Awesome. Okay. Your question number four, which is 23. Okay. What are your rules in the booth? Rules in the booth. Uh, okay. Okay. Don't ask me too many questions while I'm playing. I mean, you know, I, I realize there may be things that might come up, but give me a minute. Don't keep interrupting. I'm, I'm, I'm in the zone here. Um, other than that, I mean, it's not. Uh, what, what's another rule? Don't don't touch anything while I'm playing either. Try, you know, I guess that's that could be one of them. Now I've seen this. I'm glad you mentioned that. Don't touch anything. <laughs> because I've seen DJs do this. Get in the booth. And the DJ, you know, doing his thing. And they want to get to reaching and touching. Yes, and, and they'll and... turn the knobs. Well, it depends. Now, if, if, if the person that's throwing the party or the person that's running the thing comes and does that, then what can you do? But just a random person that's just coming up like, okay, come on now. That's not cool. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah. It's happened to me a couple of times. And how do you handle it? Uh, well, depending on what they do, um, you just kind of got to play it off. I mean, you can't, uh, as long as they don't affect exactly uh, immediately what you're doing, it, it's not a big problem. But yeah, I just kind of try to play it off. Okay. Keep it cool. <laughs> you're cool, right. <laughs> okay, question number five. This is pretty easy. I wish you have a favorite movie. Yeah. 
What's my favorite movie? Mm -hmm. I'd have to say Tombstone. Oh, that's, that's my favorite a good movie. one. That's my favorite movie. And why is it your favorite movie? What is it that you like about it? Uh, because it shows the power of friendship and loyalty. Mm. Those guys stuck together no matter what. They all had different lives. Wyatt Earp and, uh, and uh, Doc Holliday on them. They had they led different kind of lives, but once they bonded together and, and, and formed a, a loyalty and bond together, nothing broke. Right. And, and that's the most important thing to me is loyalty. Now, do you have a favorite line in that movie? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to put you on the spot. Yeah. What is it? It's when, um, now, let's act it out. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know if I can put that together. but I would like for you to do your version of that line as a DJ. Do your DJ version <laughs> of that line. Okay. Uh, you want me to give you an example? Yes. Please. Okay. One of my favorite movies is The Godfather. Okay. And I love that scene where Mo Green says, and I'm Mo Green. <laughs> okay. I remember that scene. I remember that scene. Okay. So let me see. Okay. So it was a scene where Doc Holliday was, was, uh, Stand, I think they were standing, I don't know if he was standing or sitting, in, and one of the other bad guys came in and said something about, he was talking about uh, challenging somebody or something, and, and Doc Holliday stepped and said, well, I'm, a, I'm your huckleberry, meaning, you know, I, I, I'm try me. You want to try people, try me. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, I would say that, you know, people step up, um, talking about they want a DJ or whatever. I'm your huckleberry. Oh, I love it. Oh, <laughs> great, great analogy. Okay, now... What would you tell your younger self? And it doesn't have to be about DJing. Oh, wow. How much time is this show? <laughs> I got a lot long. of stuff I could tell my younger self uh, about life, period. Uh, but basically, I would say, um, be careful about the things you, the, the choices you make in life because every choice you make now will affect you later one way or the other. So I, I would say make, take more time in deciding the choices you make in life. All righty, you ready to move on? Yes. Okay. What advice would you give to youth pursuing the art form of DJ? Wow, first develop a thick skin. First, have thick skin. You'll need it. Um, second, I'll say, if you if you don't love music, DJing is not for you. You have to love music, all kinds of music. Um, but I mean, I'll say, if you were to, if you want to DJ, it's the, it's the most uh, satisfying uh, skill or hobby or whatever you might want to call it to me because it, it, it makes you feel a certain way. So I would just say, yeah, first develop a thick skin because you'll need it in, in your pursuit of that. All right. Now, that was it for the mystery questions. Okay. And as we wrap this up, what are you learning right now? Uh, wow, what am I learning right now? You have some awesome questions, I'll tell you. Thank you. Uh, I'm learning that um, no matter who you are or where you're from or what you do or where you've been, music always brings everything together. I mean, um, as far as racism and all that kind of stuff, yes. all that stuff, if you get people, a lot of different people in a room and play some music, mm -hmm. the whole mood will change. Yes. I, I believe, I believe that. Yes. I've seen it over the years and, um, especially in the early days of Paxa House, oh, yeah. being at TV Lounge, and me being one of the only African-Americans there. It didn't matter. It didn't matter. I, it was just amazing, you know, how people, music brings people together. Yes. Uh, yes. You go in and, you know, people would have a wall up. It knocks down all towards barriers. Me, knocks and all then barriers. you see it, you yep. know, come down. Fall down. That's yes. Right. All right. Is there anything else you would like to say or want us to know about you? Yeah, when I, um, me and Terry started this thing off together. Um, 
we didn't really have any big plans or any aspirations, but but to just play music and have fun. Um, but over the years, as he progressed and started producing and meeting people and making moves, he really got up there uh, and was cut down a little bit too soon. But yes. now, as I go on, every time I play, if anybody who knows me knows, anytime I play, Terry's right here. Oh. So um, I just want to say that every time I play, Terry's right here. So if you hear him and me, that's what's supposed to happen. Thank you for sharing that reflection no, about no your brother. Thank you. I want to thank. I want to take this time too to thank you for doing this all together. You know, bringing this uh, these uh, DJs, lesser known DJs, out and letting us do our thing and providing the show and the information about DJs. This is an awesome idea, and I'm glad you were the one that came up with it. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you so, much. so much. That means a lot. How can people follow you via social media and website? Do you have any websites? Uh, well, I'm on Facebook, of course. Um, uh, uh, DJ Daryl Dyer. I'm on Instagram. I have some things on YouTube. Don't really have uh, a lot of um, production stuff out yet, but I'm kind of working on that. Um, I have a residency at the cat uh, at the Craft Cannabis Club on 29 Baltimore. Every Saturday night, six to nine. I mean, six to eleven. Uh, you can come check that out, and we're live every week. And you'll catch me around the city where you catch me. Okay. And I'll be at TV Lounge this Thursday, six to nine. Aperitif, Frankie C's. Let's go. All right. Now, there is much more to come. Collaborating across Detroit's house music community is primary focal point and all about what I do. I look forward to sitting down with you, so stay tuned. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching, and if you like this show, hit the subscribe button, and Jeez. we'll see you next time.